Get ready to hear 3DME active ambient in-ear monitors. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Steve Taddy from Hearing Tracker, and in this video, we are taking a look at the second generation 3DME Music Enhancement System. 3DME is a versatile universal fit in-ear monitoring system, or IEM. And this is from ASI Audio and Sensophonics. It has several unique features, many of which you will be able to hear for yourself in this video. So be sure to stick around. Also, if you'd like to stay up to date on all of our content at Hearing Tracker, don't forget to subscribe. Before we get too far, what is an in-ear monitoring system? Well, you can think of them as specialized earbuds for musicians, audio engineers, and audiophiles. One key feature of a good in-ear monitoring system is sound isolation. They're supposed to block or attenuate environmental sounds so the user can more easily hear a personal mix while on stage performing or in a recording studio working. Now, there are many variables in quality, design, and features, but in short, that's their purpose. But let's get back to 3DME. In the box, you'll find a cloth padded carrying case. Inside, there is the body pack and wired earpieces. Together, these make up the main 3DME system. Three memory foam ear tips are also included, ranging from small to large. The body pack houses a lithium ion rechargeable battery, which can be charged via the included USB-C cable. There is also a 3.5 millimeter stereo jumper cable, which can be used to connect your 3DME system to a wireless receiver or other external audio feed. The jumper cable can also be used with a monitor output on the bottom of the unit for binaural recordings or to measure sound exposures. Shirt clips are included to aid cable management. And finally, you'll find a cleaning tool. One side of the box set up for your 3DME is pretty easy. Connect the in-ear monitors to the body pack by inserting the dual earphone jack to the input on the side of the unit. You can then select a foam ear tip and connect it to the earpiece by aligning and carefully rolling it over the grooved soundboard. For those interested, custom soft silicone sleeves are also available. At this point, the device can be turned on via a switch on the bottom, paired with your phone, clipped to your belt, inserted in your ears, and connected to any other audio device. One truly amazing feature of 3DME is the active ambient technology. This allows you to not only hear the world around you, but control its volume in relation to a personal mix. ASI Audio accomplished this by embedding two micro electromechanical microphones on the earpiece housing. So unlike traditional in-ear monitors, there's not that sense of isolation and you won't need stage mics to hear the crowd and others around you. Furthermore, the ambience you do hear will follow your head and body movements. In this way, 3DME combines the functionality of both in-ear monitors and active hearing protection. Before we talk about the app, I wanted to mention that the new Gen 2 version has an extended battery life lasting roughly eight hours per charge, and it takes roughly five hours to charge from a fully depleted battery. Many of 3DME's features can be accessed through the ASI Audio app. The initial Bluetooth pairing was very easy and navigating the app was fairly logical. The main tab gives you control over mic level and the limiter. You can select between binaural adjustments or individual control over the left and right channels. The mic level adjustment is pretty straightforward and controls ambient levels relative to your monitor input. While you can adjust volume in the app, plus minus controls can also be found on the body pack. If we take a look at the limiter, it is adaptive and will respond differently based on the frequency makeup and level of incoming signals. While this can help reduce annoying pumping and keep the limiter sounding more natural, it also means it can respond more aggressively to louder high-level transients. This really is a great feature when we talk about hearing conservation and individuals who may have more sensitive ears. Let's take a moment and play some sound samples so you can hear what the 3DME system has to offer. In the first samples, you will hear pit recordings of an orchestra directly through our mannequin. So this will be like you sitting and enjoying the performance without anything in your ears. You'll then hear the same sound sample through the ambient microphones on 3DME. 
Lastly, we'll engage the limiter and slowly drop the threshold so you can hear how this affects volume and the overall sound quality. Before we get started, be sure to put on a good set of headphones or isolating earbuds. Overall, I found the ambient microphone surprisingly transparent. I wore 3D ME while working on a few audio projects and found that they didn't really inhibit my work with EQ or dynamics. However, if you do find it necessary, the output of 3D ME can be contoured with the seven band stereo equalizer. While this can be useful to subjectively adjust output to taste, individuals with hearing injury can actually use the available gain to help compensate for their hearing loss. A hearing care professional can help guide you through this process and even measure the effects with functional testing in a sound booth. Again, let's take a moment and hear a few sound samples with the seven band EQ in action. Several other options, such as a step for a set volume mode, monitor processing bypass, and earpiece type selector are available through the app. ASI Audio and Sensophonics show their lineage in hearing sciences and also provide a contralateral routing of signal option for individuals with significant unilateral hearing loss. This setting allows the user to route the combined signal of both earpieces to one ear. A common question that arises with in-ear monitors is, are they hearing protection? And are they better for your ears than typical stage wedges? While there are many points to this discussion, the simple answer is no. In-ear monitors are not inherently hearing protection devices. However, they do have the potential to be, but this requires that they fit your ears well and provide good sound attenuation. Here's an example of how much isolation I was able to achieve with 3D ME and their standard memory foam plugs. I found them to offer an average attenuation of 33 decibels between 50 and 10,000 hertz. Another big consideration with in-ear monitors and hearing health is whether they're being used appropriately. Due to the balanced armature drivers and how close they sit to your eardrums, in-ear monitors can easily exceed sound pressure levels that you might see in a typical venue. So in order for them to protect your ears, you have to wear both earpieces and fight the urge to take one out. This is easier with 3D ME as you have the active ambient system. You also have to practice safe listening levels and train yourself to monitor the audio feed at softer volumes. It all comes down to education, training, counseling, and follow-up care that a music audiologist would be more than happy to help you with. What I will say is ASI Audio and 3D ME make it easier to protect your hearing. 
you have access to an output limiter, the potential for a great fit, which can be checked with the integrated seal test. There are plenty of hearing conscientious reminders and notifications. There's squeal suppression and the potential to monitor your volume with the audio output. There's more to this topic and I discuss it at greater length in my full article. However, if you would really like to get into this topic, speak with a music audiologist. That's it for this video. Overall, I really enjoyed 3DME and found it to be a comprehensive solution for artists, audio engineers, or in general, those looking for active hearing protection. The sound quality of their active ambient system is very natural, and all the other features really mean that you can tune this device to your personal preferences. Thank you for watching this video, and I'd love to hear your thoughts about 3DME in the comments below. Lastly, more sound samples and information are available in my full review on hearingtracker.com. I'll see you next time.